All right, guys, this next song is called God Candy. Enjoy it. Greetings from Full of Hackneck. Hey Phil, greetings from Metal Money. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, so you're but back from a rehearsal and uh, great rehearsal. <laughs> great rehearsal. <laughs> so yeah. uh, so uh, how is it? I mean, the guys are uh, working on the new album. So yeah. tell us something about it. Yeah, we're actually working on the, on the new album, um, and we 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 always uh, rehearse. Uh, we always practice a lot to to get you know uh, to get a feeling for the new songs, and so. Uh huh. Um, we're practicing them a lot right now because we are almost finished with all the songs for the new album. Okay. We already start recording uh, in about yeah about three weeks with the drums, mm -hmm. and so we will have a short break, uh, mm -hmm. like two weeks, and then we we'll start with the guitars and everything. And yeah, so we we are hope we hope to get an idea how how it will sound like afterwards. So cool. Uh, so probably the first uh, half of 2014 looks pretty much promising, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, we, we will we will finish the recording in yeah March hopefully. Yeah. So yeah, we're really tuned what it will look uh, sound like and also what it will look like because we have to um, yeah see um, if we can arrange some awesome like shows or mm -hmm. even tours or something to to get uh, on the road with the new stuff to right uh, to some people. <laughs> yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, so uh, any plans for the you know which label is going to release the album? Um, we're not sure about that yet. Um, we released the first two albums on Nuclear Blast, maybe you've seen it, yep. and one Life Force. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's pretty hard these days uh, with all the, even with the metal business. Yep. So that's true. The music business as well, but yeah. Um, so we will record the whole album mm -hmm. um, by ourselves. So we'll. So uh, uh, is it basically like uh, you know, it's from your own pocket the entire thing? Yeah. Exactly, that's that's the thing. So we uh -huh. we, we um like we, we um how do we say? Sorry, I'm, my my English is a bit rusty these days. <laughs> yeah. We we kept all the money we earned like the last few years with mm -hmm. the shows. We released uh, Carnival Kadar in 2011, so it's like three years now. We played yep. a lot of shows in 2011 and 2012, mm -hmm. and spent nearly the whole year 2013. Um, in new equipment and spent the time to record uh, like the pre-production. Right. So um, we we already finished the songs like uh, like we wanted them to sound, sound and now right. we right. Yeah, and and so we can go to a studio now and and work with a producer and he can tell us uh, his opinion of the songs and so it's a, a way way more productive work with with a proper. Reproduction. Oh, that's great. So, uh, Carnival Cadaver, your previous album was heavier than the other, you know, the, the rest of the albums you've done before. So, uh, there was more like a good balance of groove and brutality. Now, yeah. with the upcoming album, what sort of atmosphere or sound are you looking forward? Um, actually, the sound already or uh, uh, changed again a bit. So it's like uh, we 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 got a a, a drift. Mm -hmm. into more groovier parts it's still uh, you know a lot of brutality in it but it's like uh, more subtle brutality it's not like the mm -hmm. if if you listen to it and and um we we actually showed it to a friend of us and he told us oh it's it's like uh it's like music for a movie or something it's oh, wow. really atmospheric so hopefully um all uh, the all the listeners and everyone will will see it like that as well because we really wanted to to make like some kind of ambient in the new songs. We got a lot of of um, of n not not to say like uh, silent parts, uh -huh. but you know, like um, it's uh, like, it's completely different. Yeah. Let's say from what yeah, you have done. Yeah. But it's it's only um, the moment right before the storm and the next part. <laughs> right, right. That that that's cool. So uh, you know, what about the goofy titles like Gut Candy, something like that in the album? Oh yeah, we we definitely got another cut candy on the new album. I also saw a few pre-production clips, uh, you know, recently. I don't know whether was it uh, tracking drums or was it more like a rehearsal. Uh, uh, the the trailer we uploaded. Yeah, uh, yeah, pre-production trailer. 
it was um, pre-production on a different studio. So we we doing all the home recording stuff uh -huh. um, for the for our pre-production, but we um, set up everything. Yeah, we we worked. No, no, no. We worked with another producer. Like um, we wanted to try something new, and he's a good friend of mine. I actually released a side project. It's called Illusion of Strength. Uh -huh. And it's with this guy, it's, uh, he's called Nikita Kamprad, he's from the band uh, Der Weg an der Freiheit. Okay. It's actually a band uh, growing bigger and bigger these days. They're doing awesome ambient black metal, you have to check it cool. out by time. And yeah, we, we did this um, very brutal 10 minutes uh, EP with, with this side project of mine. And he was also in that band. Um, and so after that I was really uh, amazed about his work and, and, and his... Yeah, how, how he's working, mm -hmm. and yeah, he's, he's doing a really great song, and so he invited us to his studio and asked, uh, or uh, gave us the chance to record two songs mm -hmm. at his studios to, to get a glue, um, also for the other guys, because I knew him already, but for the other guys to, to get a to glue, get know about it, right, yeah. working and everything. So, yeah, and I, it, it looks pr pretty nice right now, so I think we will... Um, record everything at his place because yeah, he's uh, at his studios this time he's, he's doing an awesome sound and it's like it's more more um yeah it fits better on, on the new sound to do like this um more warm and not so so um technical uh -huh. clinic sound right so this is really more um authentic uh, yeah that's nice so, sounds great so uh Apart from the yeah, music, I hope, so. uh, I hope it will sound great. <laughs> <laughs> it surely will. Uh, so, uh, talking about the lyrics on the album, uh, <clears throat> what's going on? Basically, is it meant to be the continuing story or individual ideas on each track? Yeah, for sure. It's like um, it's always uh, how to say yeah that it's always building up on each each uh, album. So the last one was about all the carnival and circus <laughs> right, stuff. Right. Right. And for sure, we got another song on the new album. It's called "Clown," and it's about a, a clown um, getting totally mad and <laughs> and killing people, annihilating so. everyone. <laughs> yeah, but we also got like different. We we got this like post-apocalypse style in some uh -huh. songs. We got one song called "Death Toll." It's about yeah, a, a, a bit of of dying. So I think the the lyrics are also a bit deeper than the the lyrics before. I mean. Kind of the Cadaver was a, a big step from the second album yes. already because I've, I've worked with a really cool uh, guy and he also um, had some great ideas and so we had a really inspiring time together mm -hmm. and so I got a, a different uh, side right. from writing, like writing the, the lyrics and so I, I think um, the new album will be even more awesome with the lyrics. I'm also working Wonderful. with another guy this time and so yeah, it, it will be like a, a mix of circus stuff. I mean, it's like um, how to say uh, circus in in your everyday life, or I don't know. Right, right, right. It's awesome. it, but you always you always have to to um, see the irony in, in the lyrics. Yep. It's not like yep. don't take it too serious. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome because in, even the artwork on your previous album was circus related. So yes. Uh, so probably this time it's clown. So. <laughs> What about the artwork? Uh, can we see some gruesome clowns on it? Uh, no, I, I think it, it it won't be the clown. So it's it's you you will see the clowns if you have a closer look. But uh, I think we're not sure about the artwork yet. But I think it's it's also about this. We always try to 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 fit everything together. You know, like the lyrics. Right. I'm I'm writing the lyrics when I'm listening to this new songs, and I always have like the ideas in the first moment when I hear the hear the first tunes of the song. Mm -hmm. And so also it has to be like this with the artwork. So if you look on the artwork, you always should hear the songs in your head. You know what I mean? Yes. So everything sticks together. So I think um, the album co cover will also be a bit more um, subtitle, not like uh, not like the Carnival Cadaver. Uh -huh. yeah. so it's it's, it's going to be different. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that, 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 that's really cool because experimenting something which has been done already probably would be the last choice when it comes to you know, uh, a new album. Everybody would like to experiment some way or the other or probably sure. go into a new direction. Sure, and the new album will be like a uh, mix of both. It's not like a turnaround, but, but we're really, really trying everything on the new album. That's and I hope it will sound nice. See, three albums already done. Oh, you're working on the fourth album. So 
was there something in your mind or some sort of a challenge which you thought okay on this album we will have to overcome that which probably we didn't overcome in our previous three albums um no i think it's getting easier with every album you know mm -hmm. um you 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 changing your your how you work on your stuff and also um yeah it's you know it's it's different it's every time different uh to the the time before but um I think you're getting like some kind of routine and working um, and we, we always try to prepare better um, before and you know uh, if you see if you see like the first album and the second album there was just one year in between yes so uh, from the second to the third it's like two years, two years. in between third but to we, fourth <laughs> three years yeah now it's, it's three years in between <laughs> right. you know we, we took our time to prepare because we you you always try to to make it better than you know uh, the, the time before yeah because you for sure you you're facing some difficulties or right. facing some stuff you you don't want to do like you did before True. like the hectics while recording we always had only a couple of days True. for the recording in studio and so this time we prepared very well so I think it's it's like just some kind of uh, walk through this time mm. in the studio because right. we're just doing it again. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, <laughs> that, that that's cool. So basically, things are getting much easier for you guys. Sure, well, sure. yeah, but it's always like I said, it's, mu it's music business, so it's always cha challenging. challenging right? Yeah, mm, I completely agree with that. <laughs> now, <I can't> manage. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Now, your your music is fast, heavy, brutal. It's meant to be unleashed live. But when you're in a studio, how can you get in a mood to play in such an isolated environment? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last, uh, so the second and the third album, we, we were in this uh, studios and we, we also slept in the studios <laughs> and so we were all like uh, together all the time and it was r like really uh, not much space and so we were pissed all the time. <laughs> no, no, it was really like um, after a while you you're getting the you getting you get into the mood you need to play the stuff and you know right. um, life for sure. Hack Night is a live band. We we have the best groups when we play live, and and right. it's like like you can really work with the audience, and so. Um, but but this time we really try to um, to make this feeling happen while listening to the CD as well. So Sounds great, that's yeah. why we 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 worked uh, like you said the the last few albums like really brutal and groovy. the new stuff is also brutal, but yeah, and groovy, but. The, um, so we really try to make your head bang at home while listening to the CD. <laughs> that. That, that, that's wonderful, you know. You, you guys got to gotta be pissed off while composing these tunes, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah not, not, not really pissed off, but yeah, sure. If, if you play the first tunes of a song, you get uh. you into that mood easily. So it's not like only pissed off, but every, everyone, um, how to say, um, the, the, focuses you know, on this stuff. Adrenaline like, rush in the studio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah, absolutely. Now, now this is one one uh, interesting thing I would like to know. Uh, after releasing an album, uh, you surely come across various situations where people express their opinions. Yeah, so sure. You would uh, probably, when you guys go for tours, uh, you meet people and they probably tell you something about your album. Do yeah. you, you know, do you really care about what others think about your music, or is it like you know? It's, yeah, there, there are, is it basically uh, there, like you know? I mean to say, do you even change or think of changing something because somebody outside has yeah. told you to do so? Sure, we, I think it's like two stages. For sure, you always think, what will the people think about it if you do it like this or that? Mm -hmm. But basically, it's like um, we we are we are doing the music we like to do. You know what I mean? Um, it's not like we're doing it for anyone. I mean. We, we would uh, prefer to play in front of 200 people uh, and playing our stuff we like, you know, the, the groovy stuff and having fun on stage. Right. Uh, before we would play like in front of thousands of people and playing crap. I mean, for example, we have um, we have this, how do you say in Germany, like this folk music and it's really disgusting. <laughs> and I know some people, they, they're doing this, this kind of music, music. live. Mm -hmm. So you always... Um, playing your music in front of uh, people like uh, in the age of the 50s or something and so right, right. <laughs> I, I prefer <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. uh, so I, it's, it's I got it <laughs> for sure uh, we're doing the music for our fans but I think uh, the fans will understand the stuff we're doing on our CDs because I, I think we're somehow connected and 
and maybe or I hope they feel the same spirit while while listening to our music um, than we we feel um, when we're writing our music. So it's like I said, it's basically it's it's hackneyed music. It's our music right. um, we're writing, but for sure we, we we're taking all the. Uh, uh, all the opin op opinions, opinions uh, yes. serious, and it's not like we we're so making fun of anyone. Is it like uh, the band thinks about the youth, the teenagers who who like brutality, or let's say if if, if uh, a forty five years old you know person comes and meets you and says, "Hey, you know what? Uh, I would have wanted this to be that way. How would you react?" And let's say a teenager comes to you and says, "Hey, dude, this sounds awesome. So how would you react to the same thing?" So how do you react uh, to that? Um, it, it, I think it's not about the age. It was just like a, a, a link, like I wanted to say, with the folk music. So um, it was just like a joke. I, I, we don't have any, any uh, we don't prefer anyone or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's more like, um, yeah, I, I hope it's some kind of sympathy, you know, when right. people come to us and talk to us. So... Um, there are no preferences or something like that. That <laughs> <laughs> sounds great because folk is mostly old school, 80s, 70s people, isn't it? Yeah, it's always it's always like this also in our concerts, but we really like them because it's always so awesome to meet funny people live and we're having a lot of fun all the time, you know? Right. After, after we're playing, we, we always hang out with, with a couple of guys back, uh, back with stage. a couple of... <laughs> right. It's, only, it's, it's, actually, like, it's actually surprising because this is probably for the first time I've heard somebody from... Germany tells me about folk music. I haven't it, heard. Uh, yeah, it's, it's terrible. Maybe that's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got it right. <laughs> Maybe. Anyhow, so where will you know you guys be performing live in future? You know, after the release, or probably you may have a plan of playing a few shows while recording. No, while recording, we won't play any shows. We have the first show in July because um, Devin will leave for a couple of months. Um, he will travel around in Europe um, because he finished his school now and he wants to see a bit of, of the world. Because, okay. you know, um, since we we recorded our first CD in 2008, um, Devin was 14 back then. <laughs> right. uh, we, we played like every weekend. And so for sure it's always like when you're on tour, it's always like holiday, you know. You, yep. you hang out with your favorite uh, buddies and um, being on the road and everything. <laughs> but he... he this time he said he wants um, take a uh, break. After the, recording the album, he he, he will um, do this. No, it's not like a break. It's uh, just he he will be on vacation. So I I did the same uh, like half a year ago. I was oh, also cool. uh, on vacation a bit, and so we said we will time it like this. We will record the CD and we will start uh, touring with the new CD. Mm -hmm. So um, we will start the first uh, show in I think it's end of July. Oh. Great. So we'll we'll put some some other shows. Um, so probably the second half of 2014 would be more like playing on road, being on road. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sounds great. So and that brings me to the point of uh, when is Hakun going to come to India? <laughs> Hopefully soon. So um, <laughs> no, there are there are fans. Today I had a gig with my band and uh, we just I just told my friends, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm interviewing Phil. So they're like, uh, we've heard about Hakun, but. Unfortunately, we Indians don't get to see, you know, the bands we like. They, we don't get to see them live here. It's very rare, uh, which is basically, it, it's growing here in India. So okay. it takes time for bands to come here. So it, okay, yeah. uh, I know whenever I ask this question to the band, I have to, you know, keep my hand on my heart and say, I expect yes from them. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure it would be awesome to play in India soon. So um, we always like um, open for any offers and... Um, like I said, it's always like holidays for us as well. We've been in the States right. um, last last year or yeah, last year, and it it was also a really big thing for us to mm -hmm. see like uh, something outside of Europe. And for sure, um, we're also waiting for offers for touring some other countries as well. So wonderful, uh, well, Phil. If you find some people and 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 book us, we we would be like the first band to yeah. go over there. For, uh, for you know, <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. I I, I note down the bands uh, because I know I know you you know you guys are ready to come here. It's it's more about exploring the the different kind of fans you have in the yeah. world. So. Uh, because I, I, I work with a lot of organizers here in India, so whenever a point comes of bringing a band and, you know, they ask me about oh, what's your opinion on that, 
I bring them a page and say, hey, you know what? This is the number of bands. Please look into this and try to grab. <laughs> yeah. So, awesome. So that, that's it. I will be on the list as well. <laughs> we'll, we'll hopefully in future I'll get to see you guys. Well, I'll end on a simple note. Uh, how would you describe the new album in just a sentence? Um, how to say? Wait, let me see. <laughs> uh, you, you know it's the first uh, interview since... Since yep, I can understand. So I'm <laughs> I, 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 I got to tell you this. Um, I had a chat with John Tardy of Obituary. Okay. And I asked him, John, now, since the new album has been uh, written, how, how would you uh, describe this new album in just one sentence? And his reply was, Obituary. <laughs> That's it. So I, I couldn't say anything because I got it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I was about to say like the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. No, uh, no uh, for sure it, it it will be it will be different. But I hope uh, you will see still see the red line of Hacknet. You know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Um, so it's it's um, how to describe it. There. Wait, I, I have to look for the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably if if you would tell me it's going to be a typical uh, Hacken album with. A little bit of experimentation that would yeah, be great like it's with with a lot of uh it's very this time you know it's varying a lot of of different um cool different moods and styles but it, right. it's still hackneyed <laughs> wonderful well phil thank you so much you have taken out you've taken out your you know precious time you've been busy with the exams and things really appreciate Man, it was, was really nice talking to you thank so you. thank you hopefully Talk to you again soon, and thanks yep. for the interview. Thanks, man. Thanks, really appreciate it. All right. Yeah. So, see you soon.